we will now present the learning objectives for Module 1 of Ling 270, Language, Technology, and Society. I encourage you to familiarize yourself with these learning objectives before you begin the readings and other recordings for this module. I recommend that you keep these learning objectives explicitly in mind as you read the text and engage with the recordings. The following learning objectives correspond to content presented in Chapter 1 of the textbook Language, Technology, and Society by Richard Sprout. After completing Module 1, specifically Section 1.1 of the textbook and the corresponding recordings, you should be able to define the term language and be able to recognize and provide defining characteristics of human language. After completing Module 1, you should be able to recognize and define critical characteristics that differentiate humans from other animals. After completing Module 1, specifically Section 1.2 of the textbook and the corresponding recordings, you should recognize and be able to define the pictographic theory of language origins and be able to recognize and provide a critical argument against this theory. You should recognize and be able to define the token theory of language origins. You should be able to recognize and provide a critical argument in favor of this theory, as well as describe the hypothesized sequence of events in symbol theory's proposed development of written language. You should be able to recognize and define the rebus principle and the acrophonic principle and give examples of each. Next, we will consider the learning objectives relating to content presented in Chapter 2 of the textbook. After completing Module 1, you should recognize and be able to explain the relationships between the following three concepts, namely systems of symbols, writing, and language. You should recognize and understand that all symbol systems depend on conventions for meaning. You should recognize and be able to provide specific examples of proposed symbol systems that attempted to diverge from specific languages and from existing conventions, and provide meaningful critiques of the shortcomings of these proposed systems. Finally, you should recognize that writing is a technology.